Hello everyone and welcome back. Thank you so much for being with me today. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. It is the end of the week and I look forward to just spending some quiet time at home. Hopefully we are going to start decorating today. I mean, we've gotten our Christmas tree out, but we haven't done any decorating yet. So that may possibly be coming in an upcoming video, but two at the same time you know certain things i don't necessarily want to pull the camera out for and just enjoy within our own home so what i wanted to discuss with all of you today was my decision to only wear dresses this is a question that i recently received and i did a video in the past about why i no longer wear jeans and if you are interested in seeing that video, I'm going to link that in the description box below. But that did not cover me just going completely to dresses as opposed to adding in skirts and blouses, which I did that for a while. And then I chose to just do away with all blouses, all skirts, and just go with dresses. So that is a question that I received and I am going to just read it. I actually got two questions about this. This is from On Caliph. She says, I love the simplicity of your wardrobe. That is one thing I am craving in every area of my home is simplicity. Is that why you decided to only wear dresses? It really takes the decision making out of getting dressed you only have to pick one item. So yes, and I apologize if I'm not pronouncing your name right. Aha, uh -huh. Anna, maybe it's Anna, I'm sorry, Anna. I think it's, it's A-H-N-A. -A. So yes, that is the main reason why I ended up just deciding to go with all dresses. Now, I think I discussed this a little bit in another video somewhere, but it wasn't as specific to just going to all dresses. So I chose to do this because when I started to look at, you know, just the way that I looked in some of my clothing after I just went strictly to skirts and dresses, I didn't like certain silhouettes on me. And it was a little bit harder to achieve the look that I was going for with a skirt and with a blouse. I love the seamlessness of a just a single dress. And I also found that I would stand in front of my wardrobe and just stand there for much longer than I really wanted to, trying to figure out how to pair different items together. So I wanted to take the guesswork out of pairing items and I just love the idea of a dress. I've always loved dresses and so I just wanted to choose dresses that I felt really great in, that I love the pattern of and the fit of. And those are questions that I also receive about, you know, do I get my dresses tailored? The answer to that is no, I haven't had any of my dresses tailored as of yet. Um, but the, com the company that I go with, which is Gal Meets Glam, which they no longer make dresses, but um, I find pretty much 95% of the dresses that I own have come from Poshmark. So that's more of a secondhand um, you know, app that you can go through. But um, most of the dresses that I purchased all still had the tag attached to them. So that's one of the things that I do like about purchasing through theirs. A lot of people have purchased items and either they just want to turn around and sell them or they found they never wore the item and so they are more than willing to see what they can get for that item. And I've sold many things on Poshmark as well and um, I should have my Poshmark account listed in the description box below if you are interested. And I have a couple of Galmates Glam dresses that I'm trying to sell through there just because there are certain dresses that I've purchased and they didn't end up fitting me well. So um, I ended up getting them in another size and then I turned around and tried to sell the one that didn't fit me. So anyway, um, that is one of the things that I love, is just the simplicity of wearing the dress. I love the beauty of a dress. Um, it can take some trial and error to figure out what style works best on your body. And I found that a more fitted style on top, usually with darting or, um, you know, just some kind of structure works out best for me up on top. And then I like an A-line or a flare skirt. And I just, I love that look. I think it's so beautiful. And 
I call the the leading lady wardrobe the leading lady wardrobe because um, I also had some input from a patron who um, her name is Alicia and she when she wrote that when I was requesting help to try to figure out what I would call this wardrobe that I have I didn't just want to say an all dresses wardrobe or something like that um, she she mentioned that and it just really stood out to me because that to me really does kind of encompass what that wardrobe is to me is it's more of like you are the leading star in your life and you know you kind of take control of that by choosing the items that you really love to wear and making sure that they fit you properly and that um, you feel really comfortable in them and then also too there's another portion of that that rings true in society today where it's just not as um you know very prevalent where women would be wearing dresses as frequently as they used to in the past and so in that regard i think that when you choose to go that route of only wearing dresses you're really leading in a way that is somewhat unheard of today where um you know it's more of the yoga pants um tight jeans and that kind of culture that we have and that is really what's accepted most and then you see a woman in a dress and it's just kind of out of the ordinary for the majority of society and so people look at it differently or they think well where is she going instead of just the fact that you can be at home doing your normal everyday chores you can be you know being at home with your children or you can even be working outside of your home and um, you know you dress up every day because you want to feel your best you want to look your best and really that's what it is for me I just feel like every single day should be celebrated every single day we should feel our best and there are days obviously where we don't feel our best but usually if you take the that first step of doing everything you can do to put your mind and your body in that direction of feeling your best, usually your body follows, your your frame of mind follows. And so if that's something that you struggle with, I would highly encourage you to take note of what you put on your body and ask yourself, is, is it something that you love? Is it something that you feel really suits you and your body well? And, um, you know, things will change for you. I have so many people who have emailed me or have um, sent me messages just telling me how much it's changed their life to finally feel as if they are living that life that they really um, felt they wanted to, but were always a little bit nervous about or they were afraid to. And just feeling as if seeing somebody else made that change in them to, you know, feel that courage to step out there and do that as well. So I'm always encouraged when I hear that, you know, me sharing my story and what I'm doing is helping those of you who have also felt that way and wanted to, you know, take charge in your life that way. I challenged myself to see if I could go through the winter only wearing dresses. I was thinking that, you know, this this might not go over well, but usually for me, it's just about having a really warm coat, which that coat that I shared in my week of outfits really isn't a coat for um, like the winter months. I have a much warmer coat that I take out when it gets a lot colder here, but right now we're just not there yet. Now, Honor 2017, June 2000. 17 asked what material of cloth do you mostly wear cotton or chiffon i would have to say neither of those i wear mostly polyester because the dresses that i purchase um they're pretty much all made of polyester um i love chiffon i do love cotton and i'm not opposed to wearing it but it's not something that i seek out because i actually embrace the synthetic fabrics. I like the fact that they're, um, you know, much more durable. And um, I found that polyester is a really great material for me and for my lifestyle. I know a lot of people don't care for synthetics. Um, for me, I like it. I like even, I'm, I would say that I'm very particular about the way that um, the fabric feels. 
So not all polyester is created equal, I feel, in the way that it feels. And um, there are certain things that I just, I cannot wear because I don't like the way that it feels. Um, but the ones that I've purchased from Gal Meets Glam, I love all of them. And I love the heaviness of the fabrics. And then um, there have been dresses that I've purchased from them, them that are linen or, um, you know, cotton and those work out well too and um, now some of them do wrinkle and you to me you just kind of have to put up with the wrinkling as you go about your day but then you know when you wash them then you try to iron or steam them and then you just need to know that as you go throughout your day there will be wrinkles so stitch in tradition said love the dresses are you having to dry clean them i see most gal meets glam dresses are dry clean so that I hope answers your question. Even though all of my Gal Meets Glam dresses say to dry clean them, I don't dry clean any of them. And because of what they're made out of, I know that I'm going to be able to wash them and then just hang dry them and they will be fine. I could even put them in the dryer and they would be fine. Um, I think one of my dresses has accidentally ended up in the dryer and it was still fine. So, but once you get into the linen, um, I really try to make sure that that never ends up in the dryer. Um, so many things like that can end up shrinking. But. Maria Olker asked, just curious, but why don't you use beige colored slips? That way you don't need as many. To me, I love slips. I love beautiful slips and vintage slips. And the slips that are made today are nothing like they were made in the past. And so when I'm able to find one that I really love, then I've purchased them. And pretty much all of them have been secondhand off of Poshmark as well. Um, I also got one from a vintage shop. To me, it's not about the simplicity of, you know, undergarments. It's not about the simplicity of a slip to me. To me, the slip is something that is so much more beautiful and that you wear close to your body and that you know you can really have fun with. And that's more along the lines of what I look for because um, it's not about just going with the beige and boring when it comes to a slip. I love to you know, just feel beautiful in the slip choices that I have and um, just really appreciating the artistry that went into making them and that's why I don't go with a beige one. Mm -hmm. For the most part I just love to enjoy the slips that I have and I love the different colors and the different um, details on them. That's it's like telling a, a person that loves music to just listen to one piece of music all the time or somebody who loves to paint to just paint one thing all the time and to be happy with that and so I think that when we're speaking of wardrobes you know you have different people that share different things and and try to um, convince people of different things about wardrobes and I think they you know it helps people in different ways um, what I try to encourage people to do is to see what they really love and to listen to that instead of um, just trying to fit yourself into a box of what somebody else came up with of what to do. Please share if you have also just gone with dresses. I would love to hear that. I think that that would be very beneficial for those who are also seeking to just wear dresses and just learn how, um, how maybe you started to just wear dresses if, you, if there was a point in time where you decided to go that route. So please let us know that in the comments below. And today's little thing was just that I got to enjoy some downtime because I am, I'm pretty, like I've had it for the week, I guess, and um, I just needed some quiet time today. So I got to enjoy that today and that has made a big difference in my morning. So I look forward to seeing all of you next time. I'm not sure if I'll be releasing tomorrow yet or not. We'll have to see. It may end up picking up next week, but um, until then, I hope that you all take care and for all of my patrons, I will see you over on Patreon soon. So until then, I hope that you all take care and we will talk then. Bye everyone.